Hi everyone, welcome back to the Self-Sufficient Homestead. My name is Tanya Milan and today we are going to culture Saccharomyces boulardii. So I've been working with apples in the kitchen today and I'm going to be using the flesh of the apple to culture the Saccharomyces boulardii. However, the peels and the cores do not have to be thrown away. You can make another probiotic product with your peels and your cores. This is apple cider vinegar. If you want to know how to make it, I have dropped the link in the description. What is Saccharomyces boulardii? It is a fungi, a microorganism found on the peels of lychees and of mangosteen fruit. And it is very beneficial to our gut. Firstly, it's one of those microorganisms that's directly responsible for boosting your immune system. And how it does that, it stimulates the production of immunoglobin A, which is the number one antibody in your digestive tract against infections. Have you ever heard about H. pylori, which causes stomach ulcers, stomach inflammation, stomach cancer even? Saccharomyces boulardii kills H. pylori. So if you've got anything like that, this is a good supplement to take. It's really good to just make it ourselves. It's so, so easy. Some more interesting facts on the Saccharomyces boulardii is, is that your stomach acid cannot kill it. It is not sensitive to acid. Antibiotics doesn't kill it either. So what it does is, once it is in your body, and you, for instance, take antibiotics, antibiotics kills off your microbiome, all the bacteria, good bacteria in your gut. And then it's, if it leaves space for other microorganisms to flourish, like candida, etc. And that a bad gut just makes you sick. But if we take, for instance, Saccharomyces boulardii, it flushes out a lot of the bad microorganisms, which makes space for the good organisms that we're going to put back into our body to populate and thrive. So if you go to the pharmacy and you buy a box of capsules, there's 20 in these. You can make 10 batches from scratch. However, if you just make a batch and you keep some of it, I'll teach you that, you can reuse your old batch as a starter and you don't need to take more of your original supplement. So this can last you for a very, very long time. Now the ways I culture Saccharomyces boulardii, I've got two ways that I do it. I either culture it in boiled fruit or I do it in apple juice. Now, because we are working with apples today, I'm going to use the juice method and teach you this one. We can maybe, if there is a need and you want to know, put it in the comments and I'll make a video on the boiled fruit one too. So firstly, we need to take our apples and we need to juice it. So I'm going to be using the Oscar Classic Juicer as I found that this juicer is very effective in taking as much of the juice out and compared to other juices I've had in the past, I am very satisfied with this one's performance. The one thing to take note of when you culture Saccharomyces boulardii with apple juice, you cannot use shocked apple juice. You have to use freshly pressed apple juice as the shop's apple juice will have preservatives in it which will prohibit the growth of your Saccharomyces boulardii. Another thing to take note of, Saccharomyces boulardii is a microorganism that does not stay in your system forever. It's something that needs to be supplemented on a regular basis. So if you, for instance, once in three months do a supplementation of Saccharomyces boulardii, that would be a good thing. Or when you are taking antibiotics, you can supplement with Saccharomyces boulardii as well. Next up, we're going to need one of our capsules to put in our apple juice. I'm literally breaking it open and just throwing it in here. I'm just going to give it a good stir. This ferment needs oxygen too. So I'm just going to take a kitchen paper towel. You can take the coffee filter or a cloth with the elastic band and you can just pop it over so it can just breathe. The other requirement for this to culture is the correct temperature. 
you need to culture it for 24 to 48 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Now you can achieve this in more than one way. The first way is if you switch on your oven light, that is enough to raise the temperature to 37. Or if you have a dehydrator, that's also a good option because they can go to 37 degrees Celsius. And that is the option that I will use. So 24 to 48 hours and you will see the activity in here. After that, you can keep your solution in the fridge and you can just drink some of it every day. Just be careful not to drink all of it at once. Remember, you are introducing a new microorganism into the already populated or damaged gut that you have and it's going to alter the balance. But if you drink too much of it at one time, it could cause flatulence or uncomfortability. So start with, for instance, a quarter of a cup of juice in one day. And this you can drink up, for instance, in a week's period. Start slow and you can move it up. At the end, if you want to culture again, you can just keep about 50 milliliters of this juice and pour it into your new juice and repeat the process and you will be culturing another batch of Saccharomyces boulardii. Make sure to consume it in seven days once you have finished it though. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. If you've got any questions, pop it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see some more, subscribe. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.